Hi everybody, Mature Simmer here. Welcome back to Tower Simulator 3. I'm going to jump back into the career mode and we're going to go ahead and do hopefully the last level 1 career mode mission tea time here. Typical, uh, sorry, didn't switch it yet. Easy going afternoon shift, it says. Somehow I feel that might be leading us on. All right, so here we are. We're going to go ahead and move things forward a bit so that we can get things moving. St. Thomas Ground, Flamenco 877 with information, bravo, requesting push and start. All right, so what ended up happening a couple times, basically this airport has a single taxiway. Let me get this plane going. Flamenco 877, pushback approved. Expect runway 28. Ground, runway 28, pushback approved. Flamenco 877. St. Thomas Ground, JetBlue 210 with information, bravo, requesting push and start. All right, that literally sounds like the same person. I've heard it three or four times now, so it just is always the same voice. JetBlue 210, pushback approved, expect runway 28. Ground, runway 28, pushback approved. Right. JetBlue 210. So the challenge ends up being, um, we've got one taxiway here, we've got one taxiway here, so I did really well the last time through, except I got so happy that I was getting close to the end, I ended up getting JetBlue's um, l um, lined up here at Echo. So I apologize for having a weird stutter sound or whatever that was. Same and basically Ground, they would then not move. Ready to taxi. I tried to issue commands on the command line. Uh, I tried to do various things. It just did not work and I had to delete them and then they were considered crashes because it told me there were two crashes as fatal errors and it wouldn't give me credit. So, and then other times there's an AM flight that'll show up here and it show goes way too far and I then can't taxi by and I've got no way that I know of to get an aircraft to get out of the way at that point. So, things I need to learn, or things that, you know, maybe people will update me on, but I tried every command I could and could not get them to move. Alright, I'm waiting for the JetBlue to be ready here. I think at 03 we get a third plane. St. Thomas Ground, there we go. Care 1399 with information Bravo, ready to start. Care 1399 approved, expect runway 28. Ground. Runway 28 approved. All right, so at Care this point, niner, niner. at this point, we've got Saint three different Thomas size Ground. planes. JetBlue 210 ready to taxi. All right, JetBlue 210 runway 28. Runway 28, JetBlue 210. All right, so at this point, they're gonna move along, and then. We've got this one, and we've got that one. So we've got the cargo terminal back here, and then the other planes will go once they're ready to go. So just see if I can stay out here, but we're waiting. So see, like, he stays out of the way, but the AM flight comes up here, and then the cargo plane can't get by. He's, like, setting up at least a little further back. So I don't know if that's a problem that they don't know to stay out of the way. Huh? Maybe Saint I'm Thomas wrong. Ground, Care no. one three nine or nine are ready to taxi. No, he stopped earlier. Care one three nine or nine or ramp runway two eight. Uh. Care one three nine or nine or runway two eight at Delta. Runway two eight at Delta. Care one three nine or nine or. Flamenco 877, runway 28 at Echo. So that'll move them. Runway 28 at Echo. And Flamenco 877. They will all be taxiing and we'll have things moving relatively quickly. 
So once they get past the terminal, they're able to move a little bit quicker. So they do speed up at that point. So I'm going to try to Saint move Thomas this around. Enterprise 361 with information Bravo requesting push and start. JetBlue 210, runway 28, cleared for immediate takeoff. Upon reaching altitude 1000, contact departure. Runway 28, cleared for immediate takeoff. Upon reaching altitude 1000, contact departure. JetBlue 210. Enterprise 361, pushback approved. Expect runway 28. Ground, runway 28. Pushback approved. Enterprise 361. All right, so at this point, we've got all of our first departures leaving here. So, pretty busy little airport, as you can see. Care 139 or 9er, runway 28, cleared for immediate takeoff. Upon reaching altitude 1000, contact departure. Runway 28, cleared for immediate takeoff upon reaching altitude 1000, contact departure. Care 139 or 9. So, the Saint other Thomas one will go. Ground, Enterprise 361, ready to taxi. Enterprise 361, runway 28. So runway we'll get, 28. We'll get everything Enterprise moving. Enterprise 361. St. Thomas Ground, Chi 1385 with information Bravo, ready to start. Flamenco 877, runway 28, cleared for immediate takeoff upon reaching altitude 1000, contact departure. Runway 28, cleared for immediate takeoff upon reaching altitude 1000, contact departure. Flamenco 877. St. Thomas Tower. Night Cargo 550 on final 10. Alright. Night Cargo 550, runway 10, cleared to land. Runway 10, clear to land. Night Cargo 550. So this was the first thing that, this is the AM flight that now has appeared. St. Thomas Ground, AM flight 1180 with information Bravo. Ready to start. So you have to hit the middle mouse key to get that, but that also zooms. Enterprise 3611. You know what? Let me look at this. Say yeah. again. Enterprise 3611, runway 28, cleared for immediate takeoff upon reaching altitude 1000, contact departure. Enterprise 361. Hold. Say again. All right. Yeah, he's coming in too fast, so before we end up with a problem on the runway, we're going to let them go. But yeah, if I try to clear that AM flight, he ends up blocking the taxiway. So at this point, these are going to sit here because we're going to have a few things coming through. So these are done. That's the one waiting. Those are the two waiting over there. All right, so they will be coming in here. There they are, landing. There should be another night cargo right away. That's interesting. Night cargo 550, taxi to terminal. Taxi to terminal. Night cargo 550. All right. So, didn't quite get him before he had to stop. But right now, yeah, we're not getting anything there. All right. Enterprise 361, runway 28, cleared for immediate takeoff. Upon reaching altitude 1000, contact departure. Runway 28, cleared for immediate takeoff upon reaching altitude 1000, contact departure. Enterprise 361. 
right, and see, I need to let these go by, because, see, I was ready to try to move them, and I can't. St. Thomas Ground, American 801 with information, Bravo, requesting push and start. Am Flight 1180, stand by. Standing by, Am Flight 1180. Care 1385, stand by. Standing by. Chi 1385. United 1183, pushback approved, expect runway 28. Ground. Runway 28, pushback approved. United 1183. American 801, pushback approved, expect runway 28. Ground, runway 28, pushback approved. American 801, St. Thomas Tower, Night Cargo 17 on final 10. Night Cargo 17, runway 10, cleared to land. Runway 10, cleared to land. Night Cargo 17. Alright, so I'm going to slow these down a bit. St. Thomas point. Ground, United 1183 with information, Bravo, requesting push and start. St. Thomas Ground, okay. United 1183, ready to taxi. United 1183, runway 28. Runway 28, United 1183. St. Thomas Ground, Mission 408 with information Bravo, requesting push and start. Mission 408, pushback approved, expect runway 28. Ground, runway 28, pushback approved. Mission 408. St. Thomas Tower, JetBlue 900 on final 10. JetBlue Niner 00, runway 10, cleared to land. Runway 10, cleared to land. JetBlue Niner 00. St. Thomas Ground, American 801, ready to taxi. American 801, runway 28. Runway 28, American right. 801. So, should start moving, and these will go together. And they should maintain their spacing because they can see each other. But we should be good. So at least we got these two away. Which is a little bit easier or better to do then. And then we'll get these three planes to land before those take off. Alright. So they're ready. These are going. These are waiting. And then we've moved. The mission 408 is getting pushed out. So I'm going to speed these Saint up a Thomas bit. St. Thomas Ground, mission 408 ready to taxi. All right. So we're going to wait for them to land. We're going to get this other night cargo that wants to come in. So we just need to be careful that we don't St. Thomas up. Tower, Night Cargo 8588 on final 10. Night Cargo 8588, runway 10, cleared to land. Runway 10, clear to land. Night Cargo 8588. Night Cargo 17, taxi to terminal. Taxi to terminal. Night Cargo 17. Mission 408, runway 28. Runway 28, mission 408. Alright, and then we're going to have the jet blue and everything else coming in. Alright, so let's see. Let's go to the strips. That one is in. Again, these are all waiting. That one is ready to go. 
He's over here. All right. Jet Blue Niner Zero Zero Taxi to Terminal. So taxi this is terminal. this is the Jet kind of Blue stuff Niner I had Zero a problem Zero. with. So when it took off here, it got up there and then it had to stop, and then it don't tell me. Kai one three eight five. Turn. Don't tell me what. Kai one three eight five. Stand by. Standing by. Kai 1385. Alright, and we're just about there, so we'll let this one land, and then we should be able Fuel to. Fuel is running. And flight 1180. What is it? Fuel is running? Okay. Interesting, just, I mean, I've told them to stand by, so I should be okay. Night Cargo 8588, taxi to terminal. Taxi to terminal. Night Cargo 8588. Okay, we've got the American first, I believe. Yes. American 801, runway 28, cleared for immediate takeoff. Upon reaching altitude 1000, contact departure. Runway 28, cleared for immediate takeoff. Upon reaching altitude 1000, contact departure. American 801. All right, so I'm still moving along at two times speed, but they'll be good once that cargo goes by, because I think this is the one that gets St. Thomas stuck Ground, there. Jet Blue 845 with information Bravo, requesting push and start. Jet Blue 845, pushback approved. Expect runway 28. Ground, runway 28, pushback approved. Jet Blue 845. Mission 408, runway 28, cleared for immediate takeoff. Upon reaching altitude 1000, contact departure. Runway 28, cleared for immediate takeoff. Upon reaching altitude 1000, contact departure. Mission 408. Amflight 1180, approved. Expect runway 28. Ground, runway 28, approved. Am flight 1180. Care 1385, approved, expect runway 28. Ground, runway 28, approved. Kai 1385. St. Thomas Ground, Jet Blue 845 ready to taxi. Jet Blue 845, runway 28. Runway 28, Jet Blue 845. St. Thomas Ground, am flight 1180 ready to taxi. United 1183, runway 28, cleared for immediate takeoff. Upon reaching altitude 1000, contact departure. Runway 28. Cleared for immediate takeoff upon reaching altitude 1000 contact departure. United 1183. Am flight 1180. Runway 28 at Delta. Runway 28 at Delta. Am flight 1180. St. Thomas Ground. Chi 1385 ready to taxi. Care 1385. Runway 28 at Delta. Runway 28 at Delta. Chi 1385. All right, so we're doing pretty well at this point. Just need to move some of the planes along again. So we'll let everybody kind of do their taxiing. All right, 
and JetBlue 845, runway 28, cleared for immediate takeoff. Upon reaching altitude 1000, contact departure. Runway 28, cleared for immediate takeoff. Upon reaching altitude 1000, contact departure. JetBlue 845. So I watched another video um, or two that other creators did, and this take -E thing they laughed at, and they were uh, some folks that were British, I think, themselves. So it sounds like it's just a pronunciation problem Saint in the Thomas recording. Ground. Guide 208 with information. Bravo. Ready to start. Car 208. Approved. Expect runway 28. Ground. Runway 28. Approved. Kite 208. Am flight 1180. Runway 28. Cleared for immediate takeoff. Upon reaching altitude 1000, contact departure. Runway 28. Cleared for immediate takeoff upon reaching altitude 1000, contact departure. Am flight 1180. St. Thomas Ground, Kite 208, ready to taxi. Yeah, it keeps saying that it's ready to taxi, but they're moving. So there's a bit of a bug there, that's for sure, where things just aren't sequenced right. St. Thomas Ground. Kite 208, ready to taxi. All right. Car 1385, runway 28, cleared for immediate takeoff. Upon reaching altitude 1000, contact departure. Runway 28, cleared for immediate takeoff upon reaching altitude 1000, contact departure. Kite 1385. Car 208, Runway 28, Via Delta. Runway 28, Via Delta. Car 208. Car 208, Runway 28 at Delta. Runway 28 at Delta. Car 208. Car 208, Runway 28. Cleared for immediate takeoff. Upon reaching altitude 1000, contact departure. Runway 28. Cleared for immediate takeoff upon reaching altitude 1000, contact departure. Kite 208. St. Thomas Ground. Kite 800 with information Bravo. Ready to start. Car 800 approved. Expect runway 28. Ground. Runway 28 approved. Car 800. Right. St. Thomas so Tower. 684 Juliet Kilo on final 10. 684 Juliet Kilo. Runway 10 cleared to land. Runway 10 cleared to land. 684 Juliet Kilo. St. Thomas Ground. Kai 800 ready to taxi. St. Thomas Ground. Kai 208. We request a more logical routing. Alright. That doesn't make sense because. St. Thomas Ground. Found. American 1182 with information Bravo. Requesting push and start. American 1182, pushback approved. Expect runway 28. Ground, runway 28, pushback approved. American 1182, St. Thomas Ground, Kai 800, ready to taxi. Car 800, runway 28, at Delta. Runway 28, at Delta. Kai 800. Alright, if I can get there before he gets to the inner line, I should be able to take off. So that's where sometimes speeding things along doesn't really help. Although, yeah, it might be, might be too close. 
because he will peel off the runway pretty quickly because they that goes to the um, the general aviation area via Bravo so it's usually not too bad let's speed this up and yeah at this point he's not there yet so it wouldn't work anyway but pretty Same soon. Thomas ground American 11A2 ready to taxi I was gonna say we're gonna have that soon American 11A2 runway 28 runway 28 American 1182 just want to get things as clear as I can. Alright, they are coming in 500 feet. So, pretty soon was when I was starting to run into some of the problems. So, because, you know, I think it was closer to like 17, 20, or 30, maybe even a little bit later. But, so we should shortly be seeing the craft coming in to land and then we'll be able to clear that. There we go. So we will let them land. 684 Juliet Kilo, taxi to terminal. Taxi to terminal. 684 Juliet Kilo. Care 800, runway 28. Cleared for immediate takeoff. Upon reaching altitude 1000, contact departure. Runway 28. Cleared for immediate takeoff. Upon reaching altitude 1000, contact departure. Chi 800. Alright, these are gone. This one is gone. St. Thomas Ground. Exec Jet 1190 with information Bravo. Requesting push and start. Exec Jet 1190, pushback approved. Expect runway 28. Ground, runway 28, pushback approved. Exec Jet 1190. American 1182, runway 28, cleared for immediate takeoff. Upon reaching altitude 1000, contact departure. Runway 28. Cleared for immediate takeoff upon reaching altitude 1000 contact departure. American 1182. Alright. So they are good. And American will be good in a moment. And they are there. So yeah, this is kind of where things started moving, where it was like, well, I can go quicker. St. Thomas Ground, Exec Jet 1190 ready to taxi. Exec Jet 1190, runway 28. Runway 28, Exec Jet 1190. Exec Jet 1190, runway 28, cleared for immediate takeoff. Upon reaching altitude 1000, contact departure. Runway 28. Cleared for immediate takeoff upon reaching altitude 1000 contact departure. Exec Jet 1190. Alright, let's see where we're at there. St. Thomas Ground, Delta 8257 with information Bravo, requesting push and start. Delta 8257, pushback approved. Expect runway 28. Ground. Runway 28, pushback approved. All right, and that's Delta 8257. A, uh, another general aviation plane. So we'll be able to move along a bit. And it was once we had all the jet blues coming in that was the problem. So we're not quite there yet, but we will be in a bit. St. Thomas Ground. Delta 8257, ready to taxi. Delta 8257, runway 28. Runway 28. Delta 8257. St. Thomas Tower, 906 Tree Mike on final 10. Delta 8257, runway 28, 
cleared for immediate takeoff upon reaching altitude 1000 contact departure. Runway 28, cleared for immediate takeoff upon reaching altitude 1000 contact departure. Delta 8257. Niner 063 Mike, runway 10, cleared to land. Runway 10, clear to land. Nine zero six three Mike. Saint Thomas Ground, care eight two seven five with information. Bravo, ready to start. Care eight two seven five approved. Expect runway two eight. All right, this is a Ground. little closer runway than I'd like. Approved. Care eight two seven five. So it will take off pretty quickly here, but yeah, um, a little Same closer Thomas than Graham. I'd like. Care 8275, ready to taxi. Because that'll rotate, take off. We're not seeing the other one. It should have a higher angle of attack, I think. So, yeah, because I don't oh, know, that's not it yet. I thought I was seeing it, but not yet. And it said it was ready to taxi, but it's not. It's moving around. Same Thomas Ground, care 8275, ready to taxi. Care 8275, runway 28 at Delta. Runway 28 at Delta, care 8275. St. Thomas Tower, Flex Jet 835 on final 10. Flex Jet 835, runway 10, cleared to land. Runway 10, clear to land. Flexjet 835. Niner 063 Mike, taxi to terminal. Taxi to terminal. Niner 063 Mike. Alright, so this was kind of where I started going because there, there's more space for sure. And it makes you feel like, oh, we're, we're moving Same along Thomas well. St. Thomas Ground, 787 Romeo Alpha with information Bravo. Ready to start. 787 Romeo Alpha, approved. Expect runway 28. Ground, runway 28, approved. 787 Romeo Alpha. Alright. And luckily, I he went by, he didn't come down here that could have been bad otherwise I realized he's moving around the flex jets coming in and then I'll be able to take the other one off so should be there soon and then we will it will go off to general aviation Saint Thomas as well Ground. 787 Romeo Alpha ready to taxi. 787 Romeo Alpha, runway 28. Runway 28. 787 Romeo Alpha. Flexjet 835, taxi to terminal. Taxi to terminal. Flexjet 835. Care 8275, runway 28. Cleared for immediate takeoff upon reaching altitude 1000. Contact departure. Runway 28. Cleared for immediate takeoff upon reaching altitude 1000. Contact departure. Care 8275. Alright. So again, we're back to just a couple flights to go. Because he is taken off. And he's going to be all set. 787 Romeo Alpha, runway 28, cleared for immediate takeoff. Upon reaching altitude 1000, contact departure. Runway 28, cleared for immediate takeoff. Upon reaching altitude 1000, contact departure. 787 Romeo Alpha. Alright, so... 
I think we get to about 3,000, but that was with deleting planes and stuff, so... You know, we've got a bit to go. Now he's coming. He'll probably... Yeah, see, he's already taking... Oh no, he's not quite taking off the runway yet. There we go. So now he's heading up. And clear and good to go. So we have a clear board. And this is where I started to get myself in trouble. Because now they have all contacted departure. We are all good. And then I thought, oh, we're going to be done soon. St. Thomas Tower, JetBlue 2035 on final one zero. JetBlue 2035, runway one zero, cleared to land. Runway one zero, cleared to land. JetBlue 2035. Alright, and then this was where I started moving them a little quicker and they basically hung up so because they basically landed and I kind of forgot to tell them to taxi is what the problem was so I need to avoid doing that again so we should get a call here shortly St. Thomas Tower, JetBlue 278 on final 10. JetBlue 2035, taxi to terminal. Taxi to terminal. JetBlue 2035. JetBlue 278, runway 10, cleared to land. Runway 10. Cleared to land. Okay. Jet so, Blue 278. So that's where they got stuck, where it didn't make the turn, because basically they just lined up behind each other, and then they wouldn't uh, wouldn't go. It was like because it got stuck on the runway, I think it messed something up. So move things a bit again. And it should put us in pretty good shape. So they'll be there before we know it. And the trick is, I think, like it's, it might be a little dangerous to speed things through. Is might it might be what is the problem that starts happening? Because uh, once they're landing, like you know, they're they're moving, but. JetBlue 278, taxi to terminal. Taxi to terminal. JetBlue 278. Alright. I was a little worried again because it wasn't happening. See, and now we've got two... Two planes Saint coming Thomas in Tower, close. Fraction tree zero six tango on final one zero. All right. Fraction three zero six tango. Runway one zero cleared to land. Runway one zero cleared to land. Fraction tree zero six tango. All right. We'll keep moving along here. St. Thomas Tower, JetBlue 1289 er on final 10. JetBlue 1289 er runway 10, cleared to land. Runway 10, cleared to land. JetBlue 1289 er. Alright. So nothing at the airport. They're all doing good. They'll be coming in here shortly. Whoops. Now again, this should be an easy one. Flexjet. 
what was it? Fraction 306T, taxi to terminal. Taxi to terminal, fraction G06 Tango. And it's just, some of these call signs just do not line up, so it's just like really confusing. Because it's like, it's NJE, I was going to say it's NetJets or something, but obviously it's not. So, <laughs> all right. So again, JetBlue one two eight nine taxi to terminal. Taxi to terminal, JetBlue one two eight nine er. All right. So let's see. We should be good to move along a bit faster. They can all park themselves. So we've got the jet blue flying in there. And he's all set. Alright. So now we can go up to 16. I think we're past the danger zone. Of course, I say that, but I know there's a few things that still come in here, but we should have a pretty good shot. St. Thomas Ground. Jet Blue 1687 with information Bravo, requesting push and start. St. Thomas Tower, 4254 Bravo on final 10. Jet Blue 1687, push back approved. Expect runway 28. Ground, runway 28, push back approved. Jet Blue 1687. 4254 Bravo, runway 10, cleared to land. Runway 10, cleared to land. 4254 Bravo. So what ends up happening, I think, is as I'm trying to move things quickly, uh, they don't have time to get things done. So, like, things are moving, but I can only talk so fast. They can only talk so fast. And they're, you know, they're not talking Same four times Thomas as Tower. fast. Flixjet 875 on final one zero. So, like, for example, there, if I let it go at 4x, it would keep clipping along. Flexjet 875, runway 10, cleared to land. Runway 10, clear now, to land. Now, both Flexjet of those, 875. both of those will be general aviation. So, they'll head off. I need him to be ready to taxi. St. Thomas Ground, Jet Blue 1687 ready to taxi. Jet Blue 1687, runway 28. Runway 28, Jet Blue 1687. And so at this point, these will move along. The taxi will go faster. We can probably clip this along even quicker to get them on the ground. There we go. We'll leave it at two times. 4254 Bravo, taxi to terminal. Taxi to terminal. 4254 Bravo. All right, we're going to let the flex jet land as well. Should put us in a good spot. Yeah, I was hoping I could get further today, but having to redo this scenario has not been helpful. All right. Flexjet 875, taxi to terminal. Taxi to terminal. Flixjet 875. JetBlue 1687, runway 28, cleared for immediate takeoff. Upon reaching altitude 1000, contact departure. Runway 28, cleared for immediate takeoff. Upon reaching altitude 1000, contact departure. JetBlue 1687. All right. So at this point, we can run this back up speed it along because I think again we don't have anything that comes up until we get really close I think we might have one or two more things that happen 
just before 1750. I think there's something at like 1745 or whatever, but I think we get a something out of general aviation, if I remember correctly. Or I could be wrong. I don't know. Maybe this just runs in and I was just struggling to get things done because I had had those two jet blues back themselves up. Because at this point we're at 1750. St. Thomas Ground, oh. Flix Jet 1174 with information Bravo, requesting push and start. So there we go, there is one more. Flex Jet 1174, pushback approved. Expect runway 28. Ground, runway 28, pushback approved. Flex Jet 1174. All right, let's see. Um, all right, that'll get us there. We'll get that ready to go. Doesn't look like anything else is coming up. That is still not Saint ready. St. Thomas Ground, FlexJet 1174 ready to taxi. Flexjet one one seven four runway two eight. Runway two eight. Flexjet one one seven four. Flexjet one one seven four runway two eight cleared for immediate takeoff upon reaching altitude one thousand. Contact departure. Runway two eight. Cleared for immediate takeoff upon reaching altitude 1000 contact departure. Flixjet 1174. All right, so there it went. We have 3200, and I think that is all she wrote. So, yes, we are right there. Down to the last minute. And then we will be done. There we go. So this time, job well done. So finally, but yes, 32 airplanes handled in total. This time, no mistakes. Number of takeoffs, 19. Number of landings, 13. This was by far the busiest day at the St. Thomas Airport that I have had so far. So we've got the final score of 4,200 then. So quite nice. But at this point, were at a professional controller level. So we finally got all of these completed, but you know now we're at 24,000. So if I go here, we can see the total takeoffs, landings, and you know what we did before. But you know, last plate, it also shows us that, that we were clear. So feedback that would be good to hear is um, do you like it when I'm when I'm pushing things forward quickly like that uh, would you rather just things go a little bit slower the problem is you know things are going to take two hours four hours um, and then that means you know I potentially get to do things less often so you know the other piece that I'm, I'm curious about and I'm interested in eventually is People are loading schedules. You can do some customization with the game. Uh, you can change the strips, for example, uh, if you like a certain layout. Don't know how much of that I will get into myself. The schedules are intriguing. Um, I may certainly take a look at that in the future, but what I'm trying to figure out in the next few days is uh, just you know what I can do and do I want to take advantage of the fact that there are additional airports on sale uh, at this point right now or do I wait for them to come up in the future so um, you know I'm definitely enjoying this but part of what I'm struggling with is I'm not experiencing anything other than the career mode and a little bit of the quick play uh, which I think the quick play is what you'd normally be doing uh, but and, and that's where I think you're then able to get your own scenarios in. I don't think we can create things in the career mode. I also don't know if you get, with the airports, if you get additional career scenarios for additional airports. That would be 
actually kind of cool if it did that. I just don't know that it will do that. So probably makes sense to kind of go through things in sequence the way they show up here. Um, so, you know, I'll probably do the Raleigh-Durham, North Carolina arrival, you know, then wake up New York, easy afternoon, and then I think there was a, one more down here, yeah, in LAX. You know, if I can get through those and get those recorded and played through in the weekend, that'll give me a good experience of are these, you know, these airports maybe more than enough for me right now without trying to add more complexity and so forth. But I definitely have had enough time with the game that I can tell you um, this is certainly something just like Train Simulator and the others that I could definitely do periodically uh, with, with quite a bit of interest. So I don't mind investing some funds into going forward. And I have seen they're, they're adding, they seem to be releasing an airport a month. Um, like once they started doing that, I think the game was, was where it was for a while. And then they started releasing the airports because at this point I think there's like another 7 to 10 airports that you get on top of the 6 that are in here. And I saw that Barcelona is being worked on. Um, so there, that will be coming out at some point I'm imagining soon. But looking at the release dates when they showed up on Steam, even though I'm not buying them through Steam, I'm buying them directly through um, Feel There, uh, it looks like they're coming out monthly. So if, you know, which is a lot faster than, say, maps and ETS or ATS and things like that. So this one certainly has a lot of possibilities. And I think it's the same type of thing where in Flight Sim, you could have invested quite a bit. In Microsoft Flight Simulator for the airports but again I I think it would be very very frustrating to be flying and this is frankly a lot more kind of active because the challenge I've always had with the flight sim is like once you're up at cruising altitude and and you're going like then you're just sitting for hours just waiting for the plane to fly where this is much more active um, you know you're having to do things to keep the planes moving and just more up my alley. So really long ending there, sorry, but I just wanted to share what I was feeling. And at this point, um, if you've enjoyed this, again, give me feedback on, you know, is, is what, what I'm doing and the way I'm presenting this entertaining to you? Do you have some suggestions of how I could do it differently that would be more interesting for, for people to follow along? Um, I'm nervous about saving and then coming in later uh, because I had a problem with that, but maybe it was with what was going on that happened during Scenario 3 where I had to redo that a few times because uh, things were stuttering and so forth and I realized something was running in the background. But uh, give me any feedback you have. And if you have not dropped a like for the video, please consider doing that. And if you are not a subscriber to the channel, please consider doing that. I've picked up a couple other sims that I'm probably going to delve into and that you know will have appeared before you see this. So I'm definitely trying to stay active with uh, new and different things that are catching my attention on the channel and um, not necessarily focusing on one thing. And so that variety makes it more interesting for me. Hope it makes it more interesting for you as well. But with that, I will see you next time.